what's the major benefit, because that's really what I want the audience to listen. You know, our listeners are the type of companies and leaders who want to grow and scale their business. Right. And so I try to bring on leaders like yourself who are giving them tools, resources, and the SBP to me is like one of the best. So please tell us. (laughs) All right. So, um, it's for the existing business owner or existing business. So we want to have someone who's had their business for at least five years or more and with um, preferably five or more employees. We make some accommodations. They can be part-time, full-time, or contractual. But part of that is being able to step away from your organization. And if you're at such a small small level of employees, um, it's hard for you to delegate enough work to be able to you know, delegate your work and come in because so much is relying on you as the owner. You wear all those hats. And then um, with five years in business, you have enough experience under your belt to be able to speak to um, what's working, what's not working, uh, as well as not also being so early in the startup phase that you, you really can't take a few days or hours away from your business. Everything's integral. And is that the right word? Yeah, but, that's the right word. But, yeah. I, but I think you're right because there's a big difference because I get a, also a lot of startups that listen to this podcast and come to us even for digital marketing products and startups is a completely different makeup. So like what you're saying about how you guys are very selective of being in business for over five years, there's a certain number of things that that business owner. um, Evolution. And that's the beginning. That's like kind of the startup point. We, we have businesses that we don't have a cutoff. So we definitely have businesses that come in that have been 20 years in business even 30. And mm-hmm. it just depends on where they are in their, their stage of their business. Some people are looking to grow. That's what I love about it. We aren't dictating what your path forward is. We're just giving you some really great information to help you map out your business model, truly understand it, and then come up with action plan steps of what you want to go forth on. And some people want to sell their business in five years. Some people want to get a partner. Some people are like, "Eh, I'm done all together. Um, And then some people are just super excited. Just they don't necessarily need to grow. They just want to create better efficiencies and ways to manage their business so that they could go take a couple more vacations or even one vacation for the first time in years. So it's, it's all a personal choice, but we bring that um, the key aspects of managing, managing a business, but from the perspective of, of already running a business that, we're not doing the 101, how to do something, or when you get a customer one day, here's what you're going to do. It's what's happening now. Where do you want to go forward? And and- I, lo- I love the business. Can you talk also about the business model canvas? Because that's when I got to know the business model canvas. And I've used it not only for my own ongoing business plan and strategic um, initiatives. I use it even in marketing campaigns and how, if I'm launching a new product for a client, hey, let's do this really quick, what I call the napkin business plan. Yes. Um, well, I can't take credit for it. It's uh, by put out by Strategizer and Alex Osterwalder. Sure, uh, sure. But um, it's a tool we use, and we've used it now for about uh, eight, eight or nine years. And we really like it because, like you said, it gives you uh, kind of nine key bu- building blocks of every organization. And, and then it has, they have a connection, a relationship. And so the canvas allows you to kind of map it out on a one pager. Uh, and I call it, get that bird's eye view and then hopefully get your team and your leadership team and even your, you know, direct line, direct service staff all on the same page. If you can use that tool to map your current business out. And then as, as you said, you can use it to map a new project out to, map an extension or expansion plan. Uh, so it, it's a really neat tool and you can kind of use it for one product or you could use it for your whole company or one department. It, it has a lot of versatility to it. Uh, what about the other benefits of the at the Jim Moran Institute? And, and I would say one of the biggest benefits that I got was the relationships that I built even in that class. I still have some friends from that class that we either did business with one another um, or we just stayed, whether it was the peer to peer group, which was something I was part of for many years. So there are other benefits beyond that, just the program, right? Right, right. 
don't know. It's just me sentimental. I like to create a family. Once you're with JMI, you're part of our JMI family. So we um, have a peer-to-peer -peer group. If, if a business owner who graduates from the program uh, is so inclined and wants to continue on being a part of JMI, we have a peer-to-peer -peer group where we get together once a month with about 12 to 15 other CEOs. And we talk about a challenge or issue or opportunity one of you or two of you are having. And as a group, we address it. And then the key takeaway from that program is if you um, share anything in the, in, the, in the exchange, it only has to be from experience. So if we're talking about I'm looking to sell my business, you have to have sold your business before or considered it and how that process went. So if you haven't had that experience, you just say, I'll take a pass. I don't have that experience. And then so you're really just gaining that information from each other. It really gives that great exchange. And um, well, I can attest to that because I can't.